there's a reason for me doing this slightly different uh, intro for the video, or well, very different intro to the video, is that I have discovered that this area of the guitar is a useful percussion point. And that means I've got a slight design change on the SG-1. Um, there was supposed to be a strap button going here, but I want the strap button now to go on the back, on the upper horn, which means the, the block that was going to be lined up here is going to be a smaller block that's just exposing an area on the back where I will put a brass insert and a strap button. So, small design change, not major. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be putting the, the block in and the back linings, gluing them all in. And that's probably it. So, uh, enjoy. <laughs> Here's the block for the strap button. I've put a three degree slope on it that way towards the middle of the dome of the back. It just gives a good starting point for sanding the curve in with the radius block after it's glued in. So I've just got to now radius the uh, this curve here. Um, <laughs> easier said than done. Um, but uh, let's give it a go with the spindle sander. Time for a bit of brass rubbing. It's not in contact with enough of the table uh, because it's so small, so I'm going to stick the, uh, the other part of the, the original block on there and hopefully that will give me something to hold on to and keep it vertical. The initial fit isn't as good as I was hoping, it, it's not bad but it needs to be tighter so I'm going to see if I can uh, refine it in place with a piece of sandpaper and uh, get it nice and well seated. A 
little way to go because it's not touching every bit of the sandpaper, but I'm getting quite close now, so it's looking good. The fit is now pretty good, but I'm going to go back to the spindle sander and just round off the edges in keeping with the idea of not having sharp edges inside the body of the guitar. These are my linings and I'm going to be going back to the spindle sander to put a bevel on what from this perspective is the lower edge away from the back of the guitar. I was asked in the comments why I didn't taper them or bevel them before I bent them and uh, I, I, I think it's too difficult to, to bend something that's uh, tapered or beveled because uh, you, you're either not going to have the wood completely in contact with the iron or, because of the differing angles of the two faces, you're going to end up putting a twist in the linings. Um, I think it's easier this way, to be honest. There's a bit of puckering here, but the strap button block's going to be here, so actually this is going to be cut away. Always worth marking which bit you're about to cut away. Give it a quick hand sand before I glue it in just for uniformity of colour. Um, but uh, that was pretty easy. That was 240 grit um, sandpaper. I wouldn't recommend any coarser because uh, it, it works very quickly and you have to be quite gentle. Um, I went over the line a bit here but uh, I'm not trying to win any prizes for art here so that's, that's fine.
lining number two. got over 50 spring clamps I've been buying them from pound shops um, so maybe maybe only about 10 pounds worth of clamps there I've uh, I've chosen well um, I hope 50 is enough I've got some clothes pegs if uh, if need be it should be over here somewhere an unopened bag of clothes pegs You're going to put a big clamp in there. Well, I was going to take it out of the mould and do my usual gurning through it, you know, video thumbnail and all that, but I realised I, I probably need to leave everything alone until the glue is absolutely dry. It, it's had a few hours, so it's, it's, it's probably all right, but I'm going to leave it overnight uh, just to make absolutely sure. 
Um, I'm not going to be doing the front linings in this video, that will be the next video. Um, because it's essentially the same, I'll just give you selected highlights. Um, but we'll be steering the bus again with the radius sanding dish. Um, so uh, that should be fun, get all the angles uh, right, get the dome on it. So yeah, um, that's it for now. Um, click like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!